today, more than ever before, we HR have a unique opportunity to help the baby boomer generation figure out what they're going to do next in the next phase of their life. Get ready, the silver tsunami is here. So when you look at the workforce today, the millennial generation is now the largest segment of our workforce with the Gen Xers just shortly behind. But the boomer tsunami is sharply declining with over 10,000 retirements happening every day. This is a big challenge for HR. So I want everyone just for a second to imagine yourself in retirement. What images come to mind? What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about yourself sitting on a beach, sipping a pina colada, or are you thinking about playing a round of golf on this beautiful golf course? Or did some of you imagine yourself walking into your boss's office and saying, I'm retiring? Well, retirement today is not what it used to be. And today retirement is about doing something that is really meaningful. And Bonnie Leonard here left academia after 40 years to be an entrepreneur. She is someone who really wanted life meaning. She wanted to give back to the world. She wanted purpose. And in some cases, she wanted a new career. But the reality is that most people, they hit this road. And it's not until they're 55, sometimes 60s, or even when they're forced to retire, do they actually think about what they want to do next. That's pretty scary. We as HR have done an incredibly great job at helping employees with saving for retirement. But the one component that we've missed is the social and emotional aspects of retirement. So I want you to ask yourself this question. What if we as HR allowed employees to share openly, but way before retirement, in a non-threatening way, what they want to do next in their life? So I'm a Gen Xer. And I have a lot of friends that are boomers. And I can tell you, the boomers that are friends of mine, they definitely want purpose. I know there's a lot of millennials here tonight, and it's not just you that want purpose. I can assure you of that. The other reason you want to have this discussion is that you may identify that there are key skills that your employees have that you want to retain. And you may also want to develop skills that are going to be critical for them to succeed later in life. There are organizations today who are creating talent marketplaces where they're matching key skills with projects and opportunities that are allowing employees the opportunity to develop skills in a different way. This kind of a branding strategy can have a huge impact on your organization's brand. It also sends a message to your employees that you really care about their well-being and their future. I recognize this is a lot of work. It takes a lot of development. And there's some fantastic companies out there that are doing great things. 3M, for example, has a 15% time to think practice where they allow employees to take 15% of their time to develop their skills. IBM, for years, has allowed long-tenured employees the opportunity to get trained in non-job related activities. These kinds of things are allowing employees to train in other areas. IBM is also recognized as one of the largest employers with the largest virtual workforce. This kind of flexibility to be able to telecommunicate or telecommute and work from home allows employees to start adapting to a different way of work. Organizations are also implementing different mentoring skills. So reverse mentoring allows employees, uh, millennials, to mentor boomers on new trends, new t tactics, new technologies. So if you have employees that actually want to leave the company, phase retirement is a great way to help employees ease their way out of the company and move on to the next phase of their life. But if you want to take it a step further, you can do what Intel did and you can actually place your employees in an encore career and pay for their salary for up to a year. That's actually pretty cool. But whatever you decide to do to help your employees identify their true life meaning and purpose, the road to the Emerald City will be a win-win for everyone. Thank you.